Hello to all of you IB Extended Essay writers out there. Today I wanted to quickly show you how to insert section breaks so that you can use page numbers the way you'd like to. And what I mean by using page numbers the way you'd like to is that you wouldn't have page numbers on your title page, your abstract, or your table of contents, but you could have them start wherever you'd like them to start, which should be at the beginning of your essay. The first thing I'm going to have you do is just make placeholders for your title page, abstract, table of contents, and then here you can see my first heading is where my essay begins. Before I begin, I should note that um, I'm using this toggle here uh, where I can show all non-printing characters so I can see where I have uh, returns and other non-printing characters. It just helps me to see uh, what I'm working with, so I'm going to leave that on. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to insert a section break after title page. So you see title page is up there and it's moved everything else down. After my abstract, I will also insert a section break. After my table of contents, I will also insert a section break. And that puts everything on to the next, to the, the next page. Okay, I've scrolled back up to the top of my document. I'm going to go down to the footer area, and I'm just going to double-click down here to open that up. I'm just going to double-click in the footer area to open that up. And here, I am going to header and footer, and link to previous is not highlighted. Uh, but that's going to be important in the next section. So now I'm going to go to section 2. I click in the header and I say do not link to previous. I'm going to do the same thing on my table of contents page. Click here and say do not link to previous. This makes every, every footer independent at this point. So uh, each section can be formatted the way you'd like. So now when I go to the essay portion, my fourth page, when I click here and I say do not link to previous, I can then say insert page numbers, and these page numbers will start on page four or the fourth section of the document, and they won't show on the first three sections of the document. I'm going to choose right alignment. I could choose format, and I can change my numbering scheme, but I'm going to go with one, two, three. I'm not going to continue from the previous section. I'm going to start at page four. Now, if for some reason you're starting on page five with your essay, uh, you could put that. If you are using any sort of different numbering system, you could say this is actually page one, um, and it will, it will do that. But I'm going to say this is page four. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to show number on the first page, and that means first page of this section. I'm going to click OK, and there it is. There's number four, and the next page should be number five. And if I scroll back up, you'll notice that there are no page numbers on the first three sections of the document. And there you have it, using section breaks to make the page numbering work for you.